Hello friends, been a while, Warps here. This is version 50 of Lethal Company, now in the public beta branch on Steam. You can opt in to try it if you wish. Lots of changes. The game has been shaken up. The meta is different. Some bugs were fixed, some bugs were not. Here, let's get into it. Hey. It is an egg. Don't drop it, don't drop it. Try to put it in the cupboard. Don't press G. Don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> See, look! Bro, I don't know! <laughs> These seem to be random, but I haven't tested it fully. Okay. The third time I put it in the cupboard, it exploded. I didn't die. He added a bee suit. Among yeah. others. This is not a... This is a bee suit. Oh, I thought there was a bunny suit for Easter. There is a bunny suit. So giants can die. It takes quite a lot of hits. Roughly 21 from our account. Could be 20. We'll you see. Oh, we killed him. We killed him. That is actually insane. No way. How many hits Because that? that's... That's... Here's a jetpack flyover of the new free map, Adamance. It has an insane amount of loot on it for some reason. But the enemies are also cranked up really high there's been swarms of monkeys outside like i've seen six at once and there's also giants so this map is not easy but it is profitable and the fire exit is off to the mid left there you can see the bunker entrance the main is the giant building here is a flyover of the other new map, Artifice, or Artifice, not sure which one it is. And this map costs 1500 to go to. You normally have to find the map name in the previous map in like some hidden little shack thing. But if you know what it is, you can just go there. This map has the giant golems that shoot the homing rockets and have flamethrowers. There's also these four warehouses that you can hopefully trap them inside using the switches indoors. You may have heard about the recent discovery where nutcrackers were found to only react to camera movement and not body movement. He did seem to have fixed that. I did think it was a little ridiculous myself, but he also seems to have fixed the crouch tech. They can shoot downwards at you now. Rip. You can get a kitchen knife from the new butler enemy and it hurts. It swings extremely fast without a wind up or anything, but it has very low range, so you can kind of just walk up to enemies and shred them, but you might want somebody else to tank it for you. They're camping my ship, bro. <laughs> We may have figured out what the baboon hawk buff was. I can't take it out of his hands. I tried. <laughs> oh, oh my god! What, what the hell? What the hell? What was it up top? I wasn't expecting that. That's not fair. I wasn't expecting that. What the fuck? <laughs> Is that the buff? <laughs> it's so oh, much it bro. Here is a time lapse of the adamant's map with the troll menu mod open that gives you some control over the enemies it's just to show what you can expect to find on this new map so this menu on the left will actively show the enemies that spawn so you can see here what we've got now i was pretty surprised there's a lot of enemies on this map and there's a lot of variety as well not only are there tons of baboon hawks, like overwhelming amounts of baboon hawks on this map, but giants can spawn, dogs can spawn, and the new mech can spawn. I don't know what the rates are. I assume the mech has a quite low spawn rate. I only saw him here at the very end, but this map is loaded with enemies. It's also loaded with loot, so this is the new map to go for if you are looking for danger and profit at once. These things actually look insane in the dark. I love it. I don't know what the hell it's saying though. Let me know in the comments if you can understand it. So 
so this is a time lapse of the new map artifice and the first time i tried to do this a mech started flying around in the air patrolling saw me on the roof that i was standing on on the right there and uh crushed me so here's attempt number two and what i've found from this is while there are a ton of enemy spawns entire hordes of baboon hawks spawning dogs giants they all just get exterminated by the red mechs which then allows more room for red mechs to spawn so it ends up just being a bunch of mechs and they are insanely strong so good luck living uh, i guess the only way you could live is if you were to somehow seal the mechs in those warehouses by pulling the levers but i don't know how you would survive such a thing just gonna kind of mess with them here see what they do the dog apparently can't hear that patrolling but it is illegal to be a dog or to exist at all. So here I am trying to bait one into one of these warehouses and hopefully shut the door with that lever. I have God Mode on now because uh, I would be dead. And I don't know how you are supposed to do this safely. I would be so dead. The new enemy, the butler. He's kind of a cute little guy. He likes to sweep. He will explode into seemingly invincible bees that you would have to lock behind a door to get rid of. And he seems to stab you if you're alone. He'll just whip out his little stabbing knife and go crazy. He didn't seem to do it as much when I was in a group. Not sure if that's a thing, but it could be. Knife butlers can't seem to open doors. He seems to have changed physics in some way uphill now slows you down it doesn't feel great and these little hills and i hear titan staircases also suffer from this will be slower and when you slide down a hill you used to be able to gently shimmy down them without really trying like you could do it easily now you kind of have to hold against the direction of the cliff and even then you still might slip and die so the otherwise easy rend path, rip. Now the knife you get from taking out the butler is a weapon. And it has kind of questionable usability. For some reason the spiders and the thumpers don't take any damage from it. I, I don't know if this is a bug. I don't know if this attack animation is final. It is a beta. Yeah, these were not taking any damage. However, I was able to kill allied players loot bugs and nutcrackers however when i tried to take out a nutcracker with it even if i click really fast they still get a shot off so i don't know how viable that is there's perhaps some strategies to be uncovered here it might have potential we'll have to find out Thanks for watching. This was a first look with a moderate amount of research. I'm sure there's plenty that has not been uncovered. We don't know exactly how the spawning of the golems works. They seem to have a dormant state, for example. They might turn on at a certain time or randomly at specific times, stuff like that. If you do find anything out that's not covered in the video, find any cool tricks, let me know in the comments. I do read them and hopefully it can make it into the next video.